audio check. Quick audio check. Will we good?
Hello, good morning. Good afternoon. Hope everyone's doing well today. Um, nothing crazy planned for today. Just some usual Mario Kart, Animal Crossing, and then you laugh and lose later. Um, I'm still thinking of what to do for tomorrow, so <laughs> we're gonna work on that after stream. Maybe we can go ahead and get started. Look at that, I actually cleared out my leaderboard today. <laughs> oh. Because <laughs> I always forget to clear it out, so there will always be like score versions from last week. Okay, let's do regional because we're wimps. I did not realize I have 5k points. Um, I don't know. I Okay, I think I kind of want to go with a medium side character for online. Because you only really need like light characters if you're going to do consistently 200cc. Is Ludwig a heavyweight? <laughs> this guy's so cute. I see. Let, let's go with Luigi today. I never play Luigi. Yeah, I saw you type that in Katie's chat earlier, so. <laughs> Hopefully that works. Okay. I hope your throat feels better, though. Link? Okay. So, am I able to change the character? Well, that was weird. I'm supposed to be spectating. Oh, okay. That's fine. Um, it's wide, right? Oh, I can change my character. Okay, for sure. I see you also stand Link as well, Issa. <laughs> I hope your throat feels better, though, man. Yeah, I want to go with Neo Bowser City because I honestly want to keep practicing it. It's not my best track. <laughs> I know, it's so fun. I, like, when he streams Mario Kart, I'll sometimes play. And I'll go with the tracks that I do like, but sometimes, like, I'll pick Neo Bowser just to, like, mess with him. I honestly like Neo Bowser City now that I know how to do that one turn. It doesn't piss me off anymore. Oh, we gotta run a prediction! Ah! <laughs> Oh, I didn't end the prediction from yesterday, Sag. <laughs> okay, so we're doing top six for this one. And submission period will be for a minute. Okay, first prediction is up for the day, guys. Go place your bets. It is for top six. Gentle reminder, it is for top six. Oh, we got 40 and believe. Let's go. Any doubters? Doubters mod check. Uh, this is also my first game of the day. Like, I didn't warm up before stream. So, it can go either way, honestly. Oh! Okay. That turn was pretty close. I also- I swear that my left and right trigger buttons are not working properly. I need to save up for a new controller. Honestly. Or any Oilers want to, like, drop a fat hundred subs? <laughs> Mod check? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. Don't do it. Actually, don't do it. It's called- I'm joking. <laughs> oh my god. That was way too close. I almost fell off right there. Okay, we're doing decent. We're in six. Okay, I, I thought we were further ahead, but we're in six. I think I need to focus on getting more coins throughout, throughout the race. <laughs> because the issue I keep having is that I fall way too far behind. And it's so much more difficult to catch up in online matches. Okay, some guy keeps putting banana peels in front of the boxes and ramps. They're playing dirty. Okay. <laughs> we fell back to 10th. I did not realize we were this far behind. One of okay, I got I got two people with my green shells. Nice, easy. Okay, riding into the final lap, we're in a solid fifth place. We had a golden mushroom in hand, nearly dodged like out the start. Blue shell coming. 
dodged it. Easy. If we can get top three, that'd be pretty epic. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, we fell six places from that one red shell. I love Mario Kart. That six. Hi, Ave. Welcome to chat. Hope you're doing well today. <laughs> Are you playing Garchomp? Okay. I've been learning. Okay. I say this. I've been trying to learn different characters in Unite. And I kind of want to learn Garchomp as well. Top six? No, we got a seventh, Sag. Darn. What should I pick? Oh, the, I don't like any of these tracks. CBH. I need to practice Bowser's Castle, so we'll go with that. Okay, new prediction is up, guys. Yeah, so the best thing you could do for Mario Kart is one, like, learn your lines and all your skips. And then... Because, like, that's the best thing you can do to combat items. And also choose cards or builds that have a decent amount of acceleration. <laughs> Obviously, out here trying to stream snipe me. Imagine. I'm playing a regional if that'll help you. <laughs> um, I know, I think it was Ava you asked yesterday if I will do playing with viewers at some point. We got 70 in doubt. Okay. Come on, guys. But I think for the birthday stream, I will do, like, a two-hour tournament. That way I don't have to share my friend code. Um, and then I'll have, like, prizes for people who place. I'm thinking of offering, like, gifted subs. So, like, if you get first place, I'll give you a three-month sub. If you get second, I'll give you a two-month sub. If you get third, I'll give you first place. Because I think that'll be a lot more fun to do than just playing online, like, setting up an, a, like, an, a tournament. <laughs> Would be a lot better. But I, I still have a solid month to plan that out, so. So no, we talked about it at start of stream yesterday. Oh yes, I got a shroom here. This this turn is the hardest in this whole track. I hate it so much. Yeah, I'm planning on doing at least a four hour stream for my birthday stream. So, like, I, I don't think I can play Kirby for four hours, you know what I mean? So I kind of want to do segments. But I'm still planning it out, we'll see. It's, <laughs> I did the same thing again. <laughs> you put funny number, good job. It's uh, Drake's in chat for Issa, guys. <laughs> oh, we're in six? Okay, I thought we were way further behind. Okay, I'm gonna hold on to the stream so I can get the skip. <gasps> I got him with the red shell! Even though they had a banana! <laughs> okay, we got protection, we got a solid second place. First place is very far ahead though. But if we can hold, not get rid of this green shell, maybe I can clutch here. Oh my god, three red shells! Okay, that was actually dumb. Did you guys see that? Two of the red shells collided with each other, and then my green shell that I threw ahead collided with the last one. Actually rigged. My go! Go! No! Come on! Come on! Okay. I know I kind of threw it at the end, but I got a second. We're good, we're good. Didn't this happen last week, too, where I totally threw the last race and then got a solid second on our second race of the day? Imagine. Our one lucky strike of the day. Frick you, doubters. <laughs> I'm kidding, I'm kidding. It feels so good to, like, get top three. Like, I don't feel bad about myself. <laughs> Ooh, Animal Crossing. 
Yeah, I want- okay, I remember seeing the Epic Yarn game at the store and wanting to buy it. But I couldn't, like, justify it to my mom. Okay, new prediction is up, guys. Funny number and believe. Good one, Chatters. <laughs> I don't know about y'all, but whenever I do predictions in um, other people's chats, I usually will do like either a hundred if I don't if I have less than five k points total, and then I will gamble like a thousand if I have more than a hundred or more than fifty k points in their channel. <laughs> you, yeah, you put the second funniest number. <laughs> For no reason. Okay, we're in first. How did this happen? And we have a red shell in case someone passes us. This is going amazing. This feels like 100cc. I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> because with online matches, 150cc seems like 200 just because of the lag. But this honestly feels like 100. How'd they pass us? Oh, it's the same guy who got first last time. Yeah, these wheels do not have a lot of traction on this level. That's okay, though. <laughs> we got somebody. Easy. Oh, okay. <laughs> How does one break? <laughs> um, you can either tap or hold the B button. I find it better if you just like gently tap the B button on your turns. Because if you hold it, it ruins your drifts more so. Oh, okay. I got stuck. Oh, fuck me, dude. Actually, envy. I literally drew. No! Oh my god! He ruined my skip! I could have gotten a sixth if I didn't get hit by those fireballs at the end there. Man! Yeah, bye, funny number. <laughs> I'm sorry, believers. I'm honestly trying my best. It's because, like, I offline, I only play 200cc. And the way you play the games in different ccs is totally different. Um, I like Sweet Sweet Canyon a lot, honestly. The fun track. I know I need to practice the rainbow rope, but no shot. It's not fun to play in online matches at all. Okay, new prediction is up, guys. We've got 11 people in here. Yeah, of course the game is fun with smart staring men. <laughs> it's it's easy mode. <laughs> yeah, you're fine. You're still learning. You'll, you'll get off of it at some point. It's like smart staring is basically playing like with training wheels on your bicycle, right? So we got funny number and doubt any believers. Vacek. Oh, 
Oh my god, no items. Save myself right there. Oh, I saw them place the banana on the rim. I hate when people do that. I only will do it sometimes. I I'm self reporting. I will do it sometimes, but not all the time. So I think it's mean if you do it too many times. Oh, that turn was pretty solid, like, actually. Oh yeah, I fell off that time, Sag. Oh, okay. <laughs> Stop. What am I doing? Oh my god, come on. Okay, I need to get more coins. I am almost maxed out. I do have nine coins right now. I just feel like I'm not going fast enough. Oh, lovely cut right there. You say big throw, but I got a I got a solid fourth right now, dude. Yeah, it's big catch up, exactly. Shit! The green shell protected us right there. <gasps> Come on, give me a second! No, I'm right there. Literally right there. Okay, we got a third. Thank God. <laughs> I think we beat the guy who got first the past two runs. If so, that's pretty pago. That's pretty epic. <laughs> Good one, doubters. You chose the right or wrong decision. <laughs> oh my god, that guy's got 57k points. No wonder they keep getting first, honestly. Okay, we get a solid third that round. Oh, let's choose Neil Bowser City for funsies. Okay, new prediction is up, chat. Unite on mobile time? Pago, that's nice. Is it actually better to play on mobile, Issa? I just feel like the screen is too small. Because, like, even playing on, like, the handheld mode, the screen is way too small for me. Oh, there's no drop frames, really? Imagine. Okay, I might actually have to try mobile, then. If the lag is not as big a problem. Okay, so we got 100 to believe and 10 in doubt. Ooh, interesting. We got people on both sides now. We can go either way. If believers win, 180 in believe. Okay, okay. This means, okay, this is, re oh fuck. This is reverse Neil Bowser. That's not cool. <laughs> Someone dropped a fat one point in doubt. Okay. I got you. I see you. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, this one is for sure going to be difficult because I, I have finally learned the lines in just normal Bowser City. So mirror mode is going to be difficile. Oh! It literally getting stream snack. <laughs> Did you guys see that save? That's 
Somebody clip that, please. Somebody clip that. I need to save that for later because that was actually a pretty gnarly save. Y'all don't know how hard I'm concentrating right now. <laughs> okay, I fell off that time. We're one for one. Well, how are we gonna start in fourth? What are the odds? Yeah, just fly right off the edge, Megan. Let's do that. Okay, heading into lap three, we've got a solid third place. We have a decent lead. Everyone who's in the bag is actually fairly far behind right now. This could be my track, guys. Oh my god, we're in second. Holy shit! Okay, I cannot see first. There are literally two turns in front of me. Get fricked! <laughs> Sorry. Sorry, I, I had a moment of anger. <laughs> Forgive me. Okay, okay, dude. Yeah, the guy behind me is red shell. I was like, come on, go! Go! <laughs> yes, anti Megan has returned. <laughs> okay, we got a slow and four. That's pretty good for Neo Bowser City. That's actually pretty good. I am impressed with myself. I have to look at the scores of or points of everyone in this lobby. It seems like there's some people who are, um, let's say not good, and some people who are really good. Like, the balance doesn't seem to be there. <clears throat> okay. New prediction is up for this round. Go place your bets, chat. Okay, keep in mind, there's only eight people in this lobby. So the likelihood of me getting top six is drastically increased. <laughs> I only have a two in eight chance of getting seventh or eighth. So <laughs> if you put down this time, you must really think I'm bad. <laughs> we got 95, I believe. Okay. Got a solid 15 seconds left in the prediction. Any doubters? Any more believers? Okay, Bowser City is really difficult. Honestly, I might flub. I might actually throw this one. We got three in that. Okay, we got a doubter, but they're not a confident doubter. That's okay. I'll take it. Do you guys like the predictions? <laughs> I think it's like, I think it's just a fun way to interact with chat, especially, I know some people don't feel like talking the whole time, which is fine, totally valid. I know predictions are my favorite part of stream. Or it's my favorite part of the stream would be people who run them. Well, that guy, th there was a guy in front of me, right? They just went, boop, they dis I think they disappeared. What happened there? Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling evil. Let's put the banana right on the edge. Anti-Megan arc. Ooh, we got the banana. Perfect time. Someone else got that retro. We're safe. Oh! <laughs> that was way too close for comfort. Okay, I'm feeling evil. I'm feeling evil this round, guys. Okay, if that boomerang would hit me, that would have been karma for all the bananas I placed. Okay, I was gonna say, good thing we held up the banana, but I ran into the fire anyway, so I still spiraled out. Sag. Okay, there's a blue shell coming. Ah, oh, is it best? 
Wait, it didn't hit me? How did the blue shell not hit me? Actually, I've been first for this whole round. Okay, never mind. I'm in fifth now. Six, actually. <laughs> Evil, but I didn't get any items. Rip. No! <laughs> oh! <laughs> the fist this is the scariest part of the whole level. Hey, give me something good, please. Dry Bones is out here struggling. Okay, I just need top six. I literally just need top six. Got it, boys. We got it. Oh my god, that's so pathetic. I got top six in a lobby with eight people. But you know, I still got it. <laughs> yeah, pretty Pago. Hi, welcome to the chat. I see my name is Black Swan. Hope you're doing well today. If you have any preferred pronouns or nicknames, make sure to tell me. Either way, feel free to chill, like, whatever makes you happy. Okay. Go ahead and get our next prediction up, guys. Okay, new prediction is up, guys. If you aren't sure how predictions work, I'm gonna go ahead and link you guys to the Chich Help article. If anybody new in chat. <clears throat> Gee, they got it, boss. Ah, oh, this track again. <laughs> I don't like this track. Oh, yeah, we do have a lot of low people in this lobby. That's probably why <laughs> people aren't able to catch up. Okay, we got 100 data to believe. Nice. Any doubters? Doubters, my check. We got 30 seconds left on that prediction, guys. Well, that's probably why we keep getting, like, 100 CC, because there are a few people with just 1k points in this lobby. We're gonna hold on to these bananas just for protection unless we get a better item. Okay, I was trying to ram that guy and <laughs> I was focusing way too much on that. Okay, let's be evil. <laughs> I need to make like an evil smile emote. I think that'd be really funny. Oh my god! Actual bullshit. Sorry. The cheese is supposed to like break away when you hit it, but you guys saw it like ricochet off it. Actually, DUM. Yes, anti cheese and anti Megan. <laughs> I okay. I know the anti Megan bit is gonna get old, but I think it's the funniest thing. Why is Dry Bowser holding onto those reds? You should be throwing them. <laughs> yeah, not the cheese! <laughs> More like nacho cheese, am I right? <laughs> oh my god, a bullet bill! Oh my god, this is literally gonna save us. Oh, thank god, guys. We got a solid fifth. Nice. Oh, a star, okay. See, the cheese broke away that time. Why didn't it work earlier? Here we go, fourth, that's good. Believers won. <laughs> Screw you, Ave. <laughs> Are you really gonna put doubt every time, Ave? Are you gonna be our new resident doubter? <laughs> okay. Good job, believers, you made the right choice.
No, I wanna do Sunshine Airport. It's my favorite. <laughs> Anti Ave. <laughs> You said you're playing online too right now, Avi. How's your matches going? Okay. New prediction is up, guys. Yeah, there's only two people with one key points in this lobby. But there is one guy maxed at 99,000. <laughs> okay, we got 75 and believe. Nice. No doubters this time. Imagine. <laughs> okay, we can go for the skip here. Lovely. Look at that. Okay, we're gonna hold on to the bananas just in case. Okay, right in front of us does have a red shell, so just in case you pass them, we will have protection. And there, hold it onto that red. Let's see if I can ram him. Oh, did you see that? I made him lose their red shell. Oh my god, I'm so evil, guys. Go for a cut here. Okay, that was decent. That, that could have been better, but... Advice if you're gonna play Unite Issa is try and evolve as fast as you can. That's why usually when you see me play, I usually will try and um, claim the center path that way I can farm and evolve to at least the second evolution by the time I go and try and guard. <laughs> yeah, it's also so funny seeing like the first evolution Pokemon trying to fight like a, a tier 3 evolution. Guys, I'm at 11th. I don't know how this happened. Okay, no items, this actually sucks. We're getting way too many matches at 100cc, that's why. Like, I never play 100cc. bullet can save us. Nah, this is an eighth. Sigh. I'm sorry, believers. Hmm. Sag. It's our first L in a while, guys. I'll, d I'll do better next time. I'll do better next time. <laughs> I'm sorry, Swat. I'm sorry. I tried. It always seems like the easier tracks get me. Because with simpler tracks like that, you very much have to like min-max your lines. Because the turns aren't very difficult. Okay, let's get our new prediction up. Okay, new prediction is up, guys. If you don't mind me asking, since you're in chat, Swan, how'd you find my channel? <clears throat> Did you find it from Twitch? A different platform? Did you find it today? Oh my god, we have 200 to believe in 200 to doubt. Guys, come on. I'm actually pretty good at this track. This is one of my best tracks. So if I throw here, then I don't know what's wrong with me. Okay, let's go. Oh, I did it, I did it too early. 
Oh man, I lost the boost. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> I'm throwing the first three seconds of the match, guys. Found me today on Twitch. That's pretty pod go. Hi, welcome to chat. Awesome Black Gaming. Hope you're doing well today. If you have any preferred nicknames or pronouns, make sure to tell me. Oh, uh, another TikTok viewer. That's pretty pod go, guys. We have so many people who found me from TikTok. Imagine cross-posting actually works. Who knew? Because I'm definitely trying to invest an equal amount of time into stream prep and, like, editing short form stuff, so I'm glad it's working. No! <laughs> I hate when people throw stuff behind them. Okay, it's different than, um, like, placing a banana, because then you can see it coming, but, like, if someone is throwing something, like, the boomerang, or a shell, it's so much harder to dodge. Literally so evil. Okay, I'm not that evil. I will very rarely slow throw those items by me, so I'm not that evil. Yeah, I need to catch up. I, I know I was glowing earlier that this is one of my better tracks, but I literally need to catch up. Oh my god! The breast dresser on Twitch, thank you. <laughs> Hi, welcome to the chat, Turtle. Hope you're doing well today. Yeah, imagine editing. I hate- like, see how the star music is overlapping when we're next to each other? I hate that. Okay, I just gotta go up three places. Just literally three places. You got another bullet, imagine. Okay, we're back up to eight. Come on, one more place, one more place. Guys, we can do it, come on, we need a six. Okay, we got a six, solid. A fifth, okay. <laughs> nice. We got a fifth, even though we kind of cheated with the bullet bill. <laughs> exactly, turtle. Exactly. <laughs> Wait, what I get? I got fifth, so I still got top six. <laughs> Someone lost two hundred points. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> That's so weird. I'm sorry. It's it's just funny to like shit on the doubters when I do actually win. It's all in good fun. I'm not. If I'm being too mean, tell me, and I will tone it down, like, the slightest bit. <laughs> Sag is a Sag. Oh, I didn't pick! Oh, let's do Cheap Cheap Beach. Because I am cheap. Okay, new prediction is up, guys. Yeah, it took me a while to get used to cross-posting. Um, like I said earlier, try and put equal time into stream planning and then also, like, cross-posting. Because, let's say, so this, today's VOD is probably gonna be two hours long. It's gonna be about an hour of Mario Kart. Oh, excuse me. And then an hour of Animal Crossing. So of that hour, I can probably get, like, maybe 10 to 15 clips. And that's enough content for two weeks. Guys! We got 300 to believe and 300 to doubt. Uh, <laughs> come on. Come on, guys. Yeah, okay. So I used to hate the idea of editing, but once I finally, like, started and, like, actually had a decent workflow, it's, like, so much fun. Because to me, it's so satisfying when you have, like, a perfect cut. Like, none of my edits are, like, fantastic or complex. Like, they're fairly simple. But when you have, like, just, like, a really cohesive, like, 30 to minute long clip, for 30 seconds to a minute long clip. It's really nice. Because before when I wasn't cross-posting, I felt like I wasn't putting enough work into my channel. And also, like, the more you edit, I think you gain a lot of perspective into, like, just the production process in general. Because, like, you'll hear, like, a lot of creators, they just stream and then someone else will, like, edit it. Oh, I think the biggest thing that helped me is once I started editing down my content, for like YouTube or TikTok. I noticed that I definitely talk more when I'm live. Because <laughs> such when I'm like playing the game, I'm trying to think of like what will make a good clip, right? 
So I think maybe just try and put, if you don't like it, maybe try and do like two hours a week. Start with that, see how it goes. Like save it for the weekends. And then try to like ease your way up to like doing more of it. Okay, I've been so busy talking that I'm in third place, guys. Imagine. <laughs> Hearing your voice with that reverb. Reverb freaks me out to an extent. Because like, <coughs> I know it's technically like adding echo. And I don't like it. It sounds weird to me. Unless you're like trying to sing. Like hearing reverb with like your normal voice is whack to me. I know we literally just had a third. I'm so sad right now, guys. I love Mario Kart. Okay, those those fake motivation videos I see on like TikTok or YouTube Shorts piss me off, cause they're literally so fake. It's like they're so unattainable. They're like, ooh, make millions, but also I started off with generational wealth, so I was like gonna win anyway. Eh, actually, <laughs> sorry. I was gonna say fuck this game, but it's like no, I love this game. Actually, I do. Don't look at me right now. Just, just, just don't look at me. <laughs> yeah, I have basically the same story, Swan. When I played Stardew Valley for the first time, about a year and a half ago, I didn't play Animal Crossing for a month. And then I forgot about Animal Crossing. And it was sad. And then I started playing it again. And you're like, you know how when you don't play, the villagers like say they miss you. They're like, oh, where were you the past two weeks? And you're like, oh no, it feels bad, man. Oh, I gotta pick my course. Uh, Thwomp Ruins, because that one's an easy one. Okay. Got a new prediction up. I know, it's like, <laughs> you feel like you're neglecting them. A new prediction is up, guys. I think we will do... Maybe four or five more games of Mario Kart, and then we'll switch to Animal Crossing. <laughs> Bro, you made your villager cry? Maybe you're the bad guy. Okay, this is literally the easiest Rainbow Road in the whole game. Like, the difficulty doesn't- is not up to par when compared to the other Rainbow Roads. Part, it's like staying ahead. Oh, someone was throwing something. I heard the sound. No, no. Oh my god. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I did, I did not mean to yell. I didn't control my drift properly. That's why I rammed the edge. Okay, I did it again. I, I'm sorry. The double item box, pretty far go. Go. Anybody get near me? Gonna get clapped. It. That was a weird animation. No, please don't fall off, please don't fall off. Oh, thank god, that was way too close. Come on, go! Come on! Oh, okay, someone behind me threw a bomb and I thought that was a player and I thought they cut me off. Okay, we got fifth. <laughs> Saved, guys. Okay, so, three more games after this one. Okay, good job, believers. I got a fifth there, so top six for sure. 
Um, I like Yoshi Valley a lot. Lines are... The lines are eh. But I like just the scenery of the course. Okay, let's get our new prediction up, guys. <laughs> there we go. We got 10 in doubt? Come on. Come on. Come on. Any believers to make up for that one doubter? Shaking my head, dude. SMH man. Oh my god, that guy has 1,000 points! They probably just booted up the game and it's their first time playing. Feels bad, man. Okay, let's win this one. I'm gonna ram him! I dodged that, thank god. Okay, I know I could have gone for that double box, but I did not want to risk it. <gasps> Ooh, that guy tried to snipe us with the green, but the Brenna plant saved us. Should I get this guy? Should I should I be mean? Okay, hey, Boombox saved us from the grudge. Red shot. <laughs> I said red. <laughs> okay, we got a solid second place heading into lap two. Let's see if we can hold. But so based on today's performance, probably not. Right, let's be honest. Okay, see how I'm not being mean and throwing the fireballs in front of me? Take notes, guys. I know I said earlier we might do, like, a tournament for my birthday stream. So, like, if any of you guys, like, play dirty... I will keep that in mind. There's a minefield out here. We just have to hold six. Come on. <gasps> Ooh, got three red shells, guys. Oh, look at that. Back up to third, baby. Oh, man. Do you want <laughs> the piranha can't eat behind it? Come on. Go. mean I wish we could swipe out items like if I could have swapped out the piranha for that red shell then I could have clapped the red shell held my third place <sighs> I... okay, so this is gonna be our second to last race of the day guys doing fairly decent We've gotten a lot of ace, though. Wait, <laughs> new prediction is up, guys. See, I'm the total opposite of you, so, like, I can eat the same thing for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and I'll be happy. Like, as long as it tastes good, I don't mind if I eat it all day, every day. Like, if I make, like, a big-ass pan of mac and cheese, I can eat that all day and be happy. We got 70 in Believe. Nice. Any doubters? Any doubters? Mod check.
And we still have the guy with 99k in this track. Or not in this track, this lobby. Same. Depends on what type of pizza, though. Like, if it's quote-unquote takeout pizza from, like, let's say a Pizza Hut or Pizza Time, it's kind of meh. But if it's, like, frozen pizza that you buy from the store and, like, bake in the oven, god tier. Like, the cardboard pizza, I kind of like it. Oh my god, I almost got robbed of that item box. Oh, I should have saved the shroom. See, it said this was 150 CC, but this doesn't feel like 150. This feels like 100. <laughs> Save. I would love to be a stay at home wife, let's be honest. Uh, okay, I wouldn't mind having a job either. Like, having a job would be pretty cool, but like, if I could just stay home and cook all day, that sounds amazing. But that's only because I like cooking. It wouldn't be as fun if I didn't like cooking, right? What? Okay, that red show was not meant for me. It was supposed to hit Baby Bowser, but y'all see that? I like, intercepted and saved Baby Bowser. I should be getting a thank you card. What are you saying what to, Abe? <laughs> like, me wanting to be, like, a housewife and, like, staying home? Or, like, something else, dude? <laughs> well, I'm so close! Let me ram one of these guys. Okay, we got one. Oh, when I got hit? Yeah, I agree. That was unfair! <laughs> What I get? I got seventh, I think, right? Cause like the star despawned right as the bullet bill would have hit me. Sad day. Okay, so this will be our last Mario Kart game of the day, last prediction of the day, guys. Let's make it a good one. Anybody want to go all in? Come on. Who wants to drop their thousands of points? <laughs> Oh wait, I didn't- I didn't start it. I didn't start it! Okay, now it started. I, I was debating you guys. I was testing you guys. And now the prediction is up. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Oh, I didn't pick. Oopsie. <laughs> Got funny number and believe. Good one, chatter. Good one. Ooh, mirror Yoshi circuit. This one's gonna be fun. We got 460 in Believe. Okay, anybody want to drop like 10 points in Doubt? So if I do actually throw, you'll get the 460 points. You know what's funny about this track? I never noticed. If you go look at the map on the um, right side, it's actually shaped like Yoshi. Because, like, I never look at the map when I play. So I was like, oh my god! That's brilliant! Oh. Okay, we can cut through here. This, this track is definitely really scary in mirror mode. Usually mirror mode doesn't throw me off, but for more complex line tracks like this one, for sure messes with me. Get ready into lap two, we got a solid fifth place. Let's just hope nothing bad happens. <laughs> easy clap!
Ooh, infinity item. Okay, let's go. No! I'm gonna fall into the water! <laughs> I had- you guys saw that I had second place! I got too excited with that infinity item. <laughs> okay, go for the cut here again. Okay, we're so close to top six. Come on, we can do it. Although bombs have got nobody, surprisingly. Okay, I'm happy. Even though Link does not look happy, I'm happy. <laughs> Good job, believers. <sighs> yeah, driving on Yoshi <laughs> would be hard and like borderline brutal. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so we can go ahead and switch gears to some Mario Kart. Or no, switch gears to Animal Crossing, Sag. Okay, so I'm gonna go swap out the game chargers, so... Cartridge? I said charger, didn't I? I'll be right back. Chair stream. Now chair stream, guys. Okay. Let's think of a good title. It's gonna be a good title for Animal Crossing. I had one earlier, but I forgot to write it down. Hmm. I have one, I think. Is uh, that? I don't want to put Sosi in the title. I don't want to do that. <laughs> okay, there we go. Isabel is pretty swell. I think that's all right. <laughs> okay. Hello there, everyone. Right now it's Timbaland. It's 12.04 p.m. on Wednesday, March 9th, 2022. I almost forgot. The weather report says we're in for a red tree tonight. Oh my god, shooting stars! Oh my god! Given lit by the glow of a sky bursting with shooting stars, what a magical sight that will be. If any of you have time tonight, get yourselves outside and look up. That's all for today. Have a fun day out there. Oh, <laughs> let's go. Okay, I'll, I okay. I'm gonna try and play off stream. I'm probably gonna forget though, like I did with the festival event. Sag. I love how it looks in springtime. Just all the green is so pretty. I know what I know what song you're thinking of. It's like <laughs> I 
I'm trying to remember the tune. Oh, it's the airplane song, right? It's like... Can we pretend that airplanes are in the night nice sky like shooting stars? I could really use the wish right now, wish right now. It's that song. That's what you're talking about, right? I, I'm also sad because you baited me into singing when that's supposed to be a redemption. Shame on you, Issa. <laughs> and shame on you, dude. Okay, so last week... Whoa, look at all these weeds back here. Dude, disgusting. Anyway, so last week we had set up all the empty plots for houses for anybody new into town. Then we also started our flower garden properly. Unfortunately... We didn't get any new variations, Sedge. Oh! This guy's here. <laughs> Megan or Megan? <clears throat> hey ya, hey ya, and welcome! What should I call you, friend? Megan's fine. Did you say Megan? <laughs> what a happy name! Oh yes, and I believe. I heard that my good pal Timmy moved out here. So I thought I'd pay him a visit. Timmy told me this was a deserted island before you moved here. What a happy adventure! I bet you're up to your ear. I bet you're up to your ear holes and weeds when you first arrived. But the island itself is a blank canvas that you can paint however you like with whatever plants you like. I hope some of the rare flower seeds, shrubs, and produce starts I bought will be featured in your masterpiece. Oh, I'm so glad that we have produce though. Anyway. Fitting you has been a true pleasure. I hope to see you again soon, Megan. Yeah. I feel bad because, like, the only play I time I play Animal Crossing is on stream now. Because, like, I know if I play it off stream, I'm going to get burnt out. Like, it's a game that you can only really play for, like, an hour at a time. So I totally get that, Turtle. Oh, we got tomatoes. Let's get some tomatoes. I know Turtle likes tomatoes because they always spam tomato emotes in chat. <laughs> I think I'll buy 20. I think 20 is a decent amount. Yeah. One of my neighbors down the street, she got AC installed in her house, and it literally cost 15 grand. I mean, she said it was totally worth it, but still, 15k? No shot. I remember, during, I think it was last year's heat wave. Like, all our local department stores ran out of fans. My sister and I each bought ourselves, like, like one of those, like, fans that blows cool air, but it's basically just water in the air. Like, we bought those during Christmas time, that we would have them for summer. <laughs> yeah, AC. <laughs> it's Animal Crossing, dude. <laughs> Guys, we're not in the same wavelength. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's see. Mm, we can put tomatoes here. We can always move them somewhere else. Because I'm gonna for sure rearrange everything at some point. I just want to get stuff placed at least.
Okay, now let's water these bad boys. I love the animation for the watering. It's so satisfying. Also, out of like all the gar like gardening and yard work IRL, watering is the most tedious and I hate it. I literally hate it. Because like we have a garden at home, mainly my mom and my dad take care of it. But I will usually help during like late spring and early summer. So like they'll have me like dig holes, pop plants. Or no, we usually do potting like now, which we did last weekend. Because last weekend I helped my parents plant like 50 trees, I think. Because we have a property out in Eastern Washington that we're going to move out to in a year. So we're just getting like all the starters ready. That way by the time- Because they're like little baby trees, right? Hopefully by- in a year, they'll be grown to like at least two feet. The watering is so tedious. Literally the worst. Because another thing you have to take into consideration when you're watering, like you can't water all plants from like above. Some you gotta water at the base. Some get a water on the leaves. It's a lot to remember. Yeah, misters are better than nothing, honestly. <laughs> the only like bad part about those like mister fans is that like it made our beds really wet. Like it felt icky. Okay, I don't think Tom Nook is gonna have any new like, main mission, besides just decorating. Oh! Cutscene! Ah, uh, hello, hello! We're getting more inquiries about the campsite you helped build. Yes, my plan to draw visitors for easily when the campsite has proven itself to be a masterpiece. We laid the groundwork to increase tourism and, I hope, the number of island residents. Now, if that positive word-of-mouth marketing in Tiblin will just spread. I admit it, though. This is the most difficult part of a whole venture. Don't you worry, Mr. Nook. As long as we all work together, I'm sure we'll reach our goal of having Kiki hold a concert here. You feel the same way I do, don't you, Megan? Uh, I wish I could put a negative answer here. Okay, let's be a realist. I bet it'll all, it'll all work out. Isabel. Megan. Thank you, thank you so much. I'm more determined than ever. We're not done, Megan. And we're all counting on you. Are you ready to talk about the next part of the project? I'm asking you, what should I do? We do have a new mission. Ah, go. It's about our campsite. Waiting for visitors is okay, but maybe you're interested in taking a more proactive approach? If so, you can use Amiibo to invite guests to the campsite with a new service I've added. You can access the service via Nook Shop. It works with an Animal Crossing character's Amiibo. Any Oilers want to give me money so I can buy an Aurora Amiibo? <laughs> I miss her so much. Yeah, I also don't like human weather either. So like, we can only really have the Mister on for so long before like, it just got like, unbearable. Ah, uh, hello, hello! Okay, Let's see what our new mission is. <clears throat> yes, I'll explain the last major task for Project K then. We started gathering feedback from folks on and off the island. Our focus right now should be improving the image of the island and getting that all important word of mouth marketing. I've asked Isabel to assist with like, collating the feedback, so talk to her for the latest information. What does collating mean? Look out here bringing out the big words. I think Isabel has some good pointers on how we can improve the island's image as well. In short, we need to increase our population, improve the island's scenery, and turn Tiblin into the most charming island it can be. Infrastructure is important, but let's plant flowers and use decorations to make this place look snazzy. Well then, thanks for your help, huh? Oh, good afternoon! Oh, of course! 
As Mr. Nook mentioned, I'm leading a task force that compiles feedback related to the image of our island. Oh, it's just me, though. I have always wanted a task force of my very own. Anyway, I won't bore you with the details now, but feel free to ask me about island evaluations anytime. Now then, how can I help you today? She's gonna say we have too much stuff on the ground and not enough decorations. That's my predictions. Oh, wonderful! It seems you're as excited to hear about the image of our island as I am to talk about it. Well, allow me to explain how the task force, <laughs> that's me, collects and analyzes the data for my reports. First, I conduct random polling around the island with residents, visitors, and tourists. Their feedback is then ranked using the well-known five-star system. The better the balance of natural beauty, development, and decor, the more stars the island receives. That means we need more residents and buildings, proper infrastructure, and a well-decorated natural setting. Easy enough, right? But if we can't achieve that perfect balance and welcoming environment, our ranking is bound to rise. As it stands, we currently have a one-star rating. Folks are feeling like we still have some room for improvement. Allow me to read an excerpt from the feedback that I gathered. I like how there aren't any ghosts around. It's a place where free spirits like me can just be free. Well, there you have it. Um, it seems like every piece of feedback we've received is from the same polling. Well, I'm happy to hear they enjoyed themselves. We need more residents to get some word of mouth going about our island if we want a higher rating. For now, I suggest we focus on growing our population and gathering more varied feedback. And there you have it. Just let me know next time you'd like to hear the latest island feedback. Can I help you with anything else? I think we're good for now. Alright then. If there's anything I can assist you with in the future, please don't hesitate to ask. Okay. So we need to get new residents and then focus on decorating. I think we also need to start going to Harvey's Island so we, we can unlock the traveling shops. Oh, check our Nook Miles, because I, I definitely need to get that upgraded tools. Wait, how- I, 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 I the whole reason I went here was to see how many miles I had. Okay, I have 5k. I think the upgrade costed 5k? So we might have enough. Oh, it's only 3k! Okay. What'd you make for lunch today, Issa? It's always cool because you're always making something different every day. Like, I think I've just had <laughs> eggs, cheese, and rice for breakfast the past couple days. No better tool upgrade? Okay, so we're gonna need to go get some supplies that we can upgrade our tools. Chicken and egg? Oh, dude, this sounds so good. I wish restaurants had breakfast all day. Like Wendy's breakfast? Got to. Chick fil A breakfast? Amazing. Like, why can't they all be like Jack in the Box and just have breakfast all day, every day? Okay, so let's see what we need to upgrade our tools.
Okay, so I'm gonna grab a handful of wood and some iron. <laughs> I literally only have five wood. <laughs> Sad. Do I have a crafting bench in here? No, I don't. What do I need to make a crafting bench? Oh, I can make one right now. Oh, I, I, I'm not at a crafting bench. I can't make a crafting bench without having a crafting bench. Who knew? Hey, hey! So did I hear you right? You're trying to draw with some hype for Tibland. Shiki Poo? I hope so. I want to be able to brag to everyone that I was there before Tibland got big. Hype it out Tibland sounds like a ton of work, though. You really do have a lot for this place. Actually, I got something that I think might help. Right, so it's not huge or anything. But would showing off a sweet outdoor bench be cool? What am I saying? <laughs> of course it'd be cool. Yeah, just trust me. Like, I trust me on this, so you should too. Thanks, man. Let's just smack it right here. Oh, it's fucking ugly. Oh, ew. It's ugly. It's like a gym bench. Ew. I know they wanted more infrastructure, but an ugly bench? No shot. No way. Okay, so let's craft our upgraded tools. Yeah, honestly, just put it behind the building <laughs> so we don't have to see it. <laughs> Best plan. Oh, do I not have any shovels in my inventory? That's unfortunate. See, I had to place it so I didn't make him feel bad. But I'm definitely gonna like throw it away when they're not looking. It's kind of like when your grandma gets you a nice present. And you, you kind of like have to put it on your dresser. So whenever she comes over she's like, oh you kept it, it's on your dresser! But then you like kind of tuck it away when she leaves to go back home. <laughs> Same vibes. Yeah, imagine getting a present you don't like. It's the worst, that's why. Like, for birthdays and stuff, like relatives or friends ask, I'd be like, just give me like a gift card or give me money. Like, if you buy me clothes, it's probably not gonna fit, for one. If you buy me a toy, I might not like it. Cause like, the fun thing about getting toys is that like, you go to the store and pick one out you like, right? And like, they would get me craft stuff, but we already have like a boatload of craft things. So I don't need like, I had some nicer art supplies when I was younger because my mom, she was she's artsy as well. So like she would let me use occasionally like her nice pens or her nice color pencils. But it's like if I get gifted like a dingy ass Crayola color pencil set when I have like my nice <laughs> color pencils, I'm not gonna use the dingy one. Oh, you've always gotten great presents? Well, Good for you, Issa. <laughs> it's also just difficult buying presents for people too. Like I'm very much the type like, I'll give you 50 bucks. Like I don't wanna buy something and you, you then you not like it, you know? 
Unless it's like a handmade gift. If it's handmade, then I will keep it and I will appreciate it. But if it's like store bought, then it's like, eh. Uh, it's not as cool, not as meaningful in my opinion. Ooh, we got the nice watering can now. I wonder how it'd look if, like, just the whole island was covered in flowers. I think it'd be cool to just have, like, a super large flower field. What if the theme for this island... Is you know how they have, like, the tulip farms or the lavender farms? Like, what if he made this, like, one of those, like, farm towns? For a whole <laughs> tourism industry is just pumpkin farms. In the corn maze. Maybe that's what we can go for. Let's try to sell what we have. And I think we're gonna go around the island, try and get any stone and iron that we can. And then go get a nook ticket. And we can try and see if we can get another resident on the way to the island. Oh, I gotta. I meant to sell myself, rip. Place my extra items in storage so that we could go on and head out to a mystery island. I think I want to get one more axe before we go. Koala? What are you guys talking about? Are you doing your math homework right now, Issa? What? Are you guys trolling? Oh, do you mean like try and get like a koala villager? Is that what you mean, Ave? Oh, okay. Right as I said it, you typed it in chat. Okay. <laughs> I got you. I got you. <laughs> we got just enough for a ticket. I like the penguin villagers a lot. You have four koalas? I think you have a problem, Abe. <laughs> You're like, koalas only here. <laughs> Sounds like you're a specious, man. See, I'm fine with anybody on my island, but I'd prefer. No, I'm not gonna say prefer. Not a good choice of words. But it'd be cool if I had a few penguins on my island. Mm -hmm. 
Yes, indirectly. <laughs> Birds are dinosaurs, technically. That, that's like wild. Like when you first hear that in school, you're like, what? Okay, we, we don't need money. We can drop the money. I'm gonna leave it on the ground, hope no one picks it up. No one takes it. Okay, I think we're ready to go. I do not need two, two fishing rods. Okay, let's go. <gasps> oh, I scared the fly away! Damn it. Okay, we're gonna leave the shoe there just in case we get another fly, I guess. Big fish! Be chappy quiet. Ah, it's not a legendary. Just another bass. I love the shot. Like, see how the water's glistening? Ah, there's so many cute nuances in this game. Wait! <laughs> I forgot we were going to the airport. I thought we were going to the docks. <laughs> Rip. Okay, hot take. I think superhero movies are kind of mid. They're like over the top, so predictable. Like if I'm if I'm invited to go to see one, I'll go. Hot take not accepted. I know it, that's why it's a hot take, man. Like I can't think of any superhero movie that like I was moved by or impressed by. Like, I'm more so focused on the actual VFX of the film, not necessarily the plot. Also, I didn't grow up reading comics or anything, so I didn't have, like, the childhood nostalgia of, like, reading the comic book and then seeing it on the screen. So. I'm sorry if you guys can't forgive me, but that that's just my take. Just my take. I just think it's funny that you think you're gonna think of me when you go see the movie, Issa. <laughs> Issa unsubs, unfollows. <laughs> Also, another hot take. I was never like into into movies as much. I was more into like shows rather than movies. Oh, you're crying just because the movie was so moving? <laughs> I thought you were talking about thinking about me when you're going to go see the movie. <laughs> Yeah, also, like, just shows, there's a lot more time to tell the story. And, like, a lot more time to like, fill up the characters in the show. Versus a movie where you have max, like, two hours. Yeah, as you guys know, I do have hoarder brain, so I'm gonna chop down every tree, pick up every weed that I see on this island. Unless I physically can't carry it. We gotta be quick, we gotta be quick. Oh, okay, we were quick enough! <laughs> yeah, exactly. They should have just started off with shows from the start. I feel like that would have been better.
Who is out here with another hot take? <laughs> uh oh. Okay, well, just like I haven't seen much superhero movies, I have not seen any superhero TV shows. Like, I hear about it and then I just zone out. So I'm like, I'm not interested. Okay, some shots from WandaVision looked cool and artsy. That's what I appreciate, but like, I haven't actually watched it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I was about to have B for the Issa right there. takes like that about Loki. I haven't actually seen it, so I have no opinion. Because like my type of shows that I usually will watch will be like romantic comedies. Like I'm getting back into K-dramas again. Oh my god, I'm such a sucker for romance. Like, I just eat that shit up. Mainly because, like, I'm sad and alone, and I want to feel like vicariously see another couple be happy and, like, get together and, like, fall in love. Okay, I say I'm sad and lonely, but I'm not looking for anybody, so simps, do not DM me, okay? Okay. <laughs> I am happily single right now because honestly being in a relationship the, the thing I didn't like the most is like their drama becomes your drama in terms of like everything that they've been through and everything that's happened to them becomes like your business as well and it's just like so emotionally exhausting at times <laughs> imagine <laughs> having a relationship imagine face <gasps> oh my god we need them oh, I don't know if you guys can see it on screen but the texture they look so soft and fuzzy oh my god if we throw and they don't come to our island I'm gonna go cry I'm literally gonna end stream and go cry okay I, I was saying that as a bit but like my eyes are tearing up just thinking about if I throw like literally they are tearing up right now I'm <laughs> I don't know if it's tears of like sadness or just tears of like joy. You know when you see something cute and you're just like, aww, like whenever that happens with me, like my eyes start watering. Oh, they stop. <laughs> Guys, come on. Be nice simps, okay? Okay, another hot take for me is that like I did I never really had celebrity crushes. Like the only celebrity crush I had was Jensen Ackles. But that was after I started watching Supernatural. Like, oh my god, I was so cringe. Like in junior high and then early high no, yeah, early high school, I was like super into Tumblr. It was bad, it was really bad guys. And like my homepage would just be like fan edits and gifs of Jensen Ackles. <laughs> Not the Tumblr kid. I know. I get it to myself. And it's so funny because like I reconnected with <laughs> Super Hulak. Ah, stop, guys, stop. I'm I'm self-reporting so hard right now. Um, 
<laughs> but like, it's weird when you like talk to people and they like reveal that they were also like a Tumblr head when they were younger and you're like, oh my god, it's, it wasn't just me. Okay, we need this ladybug. Hi, Emmy. <laughs> Welcome to chat. We were just talking about how I used to like be really into fandoms and Tumblr when I was younger. Anybody else want to self report right now? Because I feel very vulnerable right now. Anyways, I hope you're doing well today, Emmy. You see, like, I went on Tumblr more so for, like, looking at fan art. Because there was so much good fan art on Tumblr. Like, okay, I haven't logged on to Tumblr in, I think, six months at this point. I still have the app on my phone, but I haven't logged in in ages. Because, like, I'm not too much into fandom culture anymore. Like, right now, my Tumblr homepage is just, like, artists that I like. I'm a gleek. <laughs> Any other Tumblr heads in chat? <laughs> you're not embarrassed? Well, that's good. That's good. I'm glad you're not embarrassed, man. Because I am. You guys can't tell. I don't know if I'm blushing. Am I blushing? I'm not blushing. My face is just naturally red. <laughs> I'm in minority. Did say. <laughs> I'm a minority in so many ways. I'm a woman. I am POC. Let me just list some more. Okay, I wasn't sure what Gleek was, but I figured it was a Glee thing. <laughs> okay, so I just wanted- we do have red pansies at home, but I want to try and get a few of these yellow and white ones at least. That way we can go and plant them back home. <laughs> okay, now that you bring it up, I was super into ship culture as well. Cringe. I know it's cringe. But I think the first time I, like, understood the concept of shipping was when I first started watching, like, Disney Channel. So, like, middle school. And I shipped Austin and Allie so hard. Like, oh my god, words cannot describe how, like, much I wanted them to be together. Like, that was the reason why I watched the show. Okay, anyway, let's talk to Ellie. <clears throat> I wasn't expecting to meet anyone on this tour. I'm Ellie. <laughs> and you're Megan for Tim from Tiblin? I'm glad you stopped to talk to me. One thing I love about traveling is the chance to make new friends. <laughs> See, okay, for me, if y'all don't know, I'm bi. So, like, I don't think there was any, like, TV figure or, like, celebrity that, like, awakened me. But just, like, talking to, like, girls in school was like, oh, girls are pretty cool, too. Um. Anyway, that'll be a topic for another day. <clears throat> it must be true what they say about how travel broadens your horizons. This change of scenery has given me a new perspective on life back on my island. I like it well enough, but... Yeah, move to my island, please, Ellie, please. Oh, wow, that's such a great idea. Thank you for encouraging me. <laughs> Man, she's fucking easy. Pushover. Like me. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> well, I ran into you, I never expected to be invited to live on your island. Unless you were just teasing me. Do you really mean it, little one? Oh my god, she's calling me little one. That's so cute. You'll love it there. Oh, this is all so exciting! I can't wait to start packing up for my big move after this tour. If I remember right, I'm supposed to contact someone named Tom Nook about relocating. Little one? I better do that before I forget. Oh, we got Ellie, guys! We got Ellie! Look at her pink little tail! It's so cute! Guys, I think that's a W if we got Ellie. I was not aware of Ellie till today, but they're adorable. I need them in my life.
I thought you said Paul Blart Ave, and I was like, um, what? <laughs> I was like, okay. Okay, side note, side comment. On YouTube and TikTok, I have gotten so many comments saying I look like Rainy Rodriguez, I think their name is. But she was on Austin and Alley. She was also on in the mall, Paul Blart, the mall cop movie or whatever and i get so many fucking comments asking like are you this person i know they're memeing but it's like bro just look at the other fucking comments like stop asking me the same thing like stop like ideally how many jobs have i had yeah i've been an actor no i'm kidding um i've had two jobs um I worked at a daycare. No, I had three jobs, actually. I worked at a daycare, and then I worked two food service jobs. So, a total of three. Nothing too crazy. <clears throat> like, I'm not working right now, though. I'm trying to focus on finishing up school. Because I know if I got a job right now, I would have to drop out of school. And that's not cool. Because I've been pretty close a few times. And it's not fun thinking about like, oh, even if I drop out, that does suck. But you still have to pay back like all the, all the student loans you took for the classes you did take. It's kind of like, what's the point of dropping without a degree when you've already spent tens of thousands of dollars already? Yeah, I'm full sending. <laughs> Basically, yeah. <laughs> Cause like, I've thought about getting like a part-time job, like just on weekends. But the way my schedule is now is I stream three days a week. I usually chill the rest of the day because being on camera is just exhausting on its own to an extent. Like, I'm very much, like, emotionally drained after I end stream. Like, I, I assume it's like that for any other streamers. And then Thursday... Nope. Fridays and Mondays are specifically editing days. And then I try and do a little bit of homework every day. And then Saturday and Sunday is, like, homework days, right? So I know if I do pick up a job... Also, I don't know how to drive, so I'd have to rely on public transportation. And there's, like, literal... The bus routes here suck. Like, they actually are horrible. So, like, even the closest bus stop to me... It, okay, there is one five minutes away, but it's not the bus route I need. Like, the bus station and the train station is about, like, a 30-minute walk from my house. Yeah, insane. Like, 50 minutes? Like, public transportation should be better. There should be a lot more stops. The only reason why there's not more stops is because people don't want to fund public transportation because not enough people use it. And the reason why not enough people use it is because the routes aren't there. So it's just like, no you. Like, it una reverse on, like, reasons why we don't have a good public transportation system here. I forgot what I was doing. Oh, I, I can go up there and chop the trees. I forgot. I need wood. Okay, I do need the ladder to get up there first. <laughs> Imagine if public tra transportation was free. I wonder how many more people would use it. I think it'd be cool if like public transportation was free, but you had to have like a pass or something. I feel like you had to have like a card. What also sucks with um, our public transportation locally, I'm not gonna leak which county I live in, but I do live in Washington State, is what they did at a lot of the bus stops is they took down like the poster that has the times where the bus is gonna come by the bus stop. So now they just have like little posters saying like, oh, download the app, scan this QR code to see the bus schedule or see when the bus is coming. And it's like, I understand that it's 
more convenient, but why would you not have the times in which the bus will actually be at the bus stop, at the actual bus stop? The, the only reason why I can think of is they're trying to limit people who don't have access to the internet. People who are, like, homeless. Who don't have access to, like, phones or internet to, like, actually see the bus schedule. Which is unfortunate. Because it's not necessarily just the homeless people who aren't going to have access to the internet. It's going to be people who can't afford to have internet at home. It's, it's BS. To me, that's the only justifiable reason that they would not have the bus schedule at the bus stop. Anyway, I'm a socialist. <laughs> okay. Actually, I'm a democratic socialist. <laughs> I know, right? Animal Crossing streams are whack, dude. We don't know where they're gonna go. Okay, let's see. I think we are good. I think we got everything we need from here. Let's grab that one little fish. Don't even get me started on infrastructure. <laughs> you guys notice how recently, like in the past few years, a lot of like public benches have the little ridges on it. So it's uncomfortable to sit on because they're trying to prevent people from sleeping on the benches. Anyway, <laughs> that's a whole nother debate for another day, guys. What's wrong with Wilbur? I think they're fine. Nothing's wrong with Wilbur. Have you guys seen the humanoid art that people have made of the dodo birds? Kind of weird. Makes me feel weird things. <laughs> Bro, this stream is such a self-report. I need to stop. Oh, you were talking about that? Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> See, we were kind of on the same wavelength right there. Okay, I want to sell some stuff. And then we can try and go to Harvey's Island. Because that might be unlocked now. <laughs> See, I was thinking about what to make my profile pick. But then I was like, I, okay. My profile pick right now is just a picture of me. So I think that's best for branding. Like, I was debating if I wanted to, like, commission, like, an illustration of me. But I feel like everyone does that. Similar to, like, how most of my emotes are just pictures of me. I think they literally are all pictures of me. <laughs> they definitely stand out a lot when compared to, like, a lot of other people's emotes. Okay, so we can try and go to Harvey's Island now. Yeah, like, I was also thinking about it, like, I also kind of want to draw my own profile pic. Yeah, I was I wasn't sure what to do for a banner either, as a, but I like mine. Like it's because like it matches my plant aesthetic. Because I like the contrast of like modern aesthetic and the nature. That's the way I have like the kind of like almost neony, really bright pastel green against the natural like leaf and the wood aesthetic. I like that look a lot. But just something simple. Like if you make it too busy, it's too much. 
There's Harvey. Yes, sir. Hey, it's you. You made it out to my island. Thanks for coming. Uh, Megan, right? <laughs> Phew. Sure, it's good to see you again. Yes, sir. -y. Good old Megan. Anyway, welcome to Harb's Island. You'll remember if I mentioned it before, but I run a photo studio here. It's called Photopia, because it's like paradise for picture taking, and it's free to all, so come use it any time. Wait, when does this part unlock? Because I know, like, it'll have the traveling shopkeepers. Oh, I think that probably only unlocks when they all actually come to your island, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I try, guys. I try. I've been told, like, my sister has told me that she genuinely likes my voice a lot. So she wanted me to, re like, record a book for her to, like, listen to at work. And she was like, you should be an audiobook narrator. And I was like, sure. And she's like, no, actually do it. And I was like, um, that's kind of awkward, so no. Because <laughs> I feel like my voice is very high pitched. Which is fine. But. It does sound like a fun job. But I was like looking into it. And it, it seems like a lot of work. <laughs> Get that bag. <laughs> because let's say the passage takes an hour to read, right? It's probably going to take like two to three hours at least of recording to get it down properly. Because when you're voice acting, you're basically like RPing or role-playing as the actual character. So it's very much like acting to where like you have to put your headset or your mindset into the head of the character. And then also just recording properly. Like, I know I don't have the tech for it, but I think it would be fun to do at some point. My favorite thing- okay. If I ever do get a job, I would like to work the at the library. I think it'd be so fun, just like reading little books to kids. Wonder why it's called voice acting. I know, I know, that makes sense, right? <laughs> um, I think I'd like to work at the library. Like, it seems pretty chill. Like, you work at the desk, you catalog books, you put them on the shelf, you like hang out with kids. It seems like a pretty fun, chill job. You would not talk to the kids, but they're so cute! Okay, I like kids for like an hour. That's why like daycare is fine, because you're only there for like three hours. But like if I have to babysit a kid for more than three hours, I'm like, ugh, take me out of here. Just end me, please. And like at the library, the kids are supposed to be quiet. They're not going to be running around screaming and stuff. Yeah, I think I could do the library. But what's, what sucks now is that libraries aren't open for us still. I think they're only still open for, like, limited computer use. And then... Like, curbside pickup, I think, still. <laughs> yeah, they're still kids, but they're fun! Got a kid hater in chat. SMH did. You're talking to kids? Do you work at a daycare as well, Avi? Or, I, I don't work at a daycare. I used to. Let's drop this bag. Okay, so I think we got done what we needed to today. We watered our plants. Oh, you're a student teacher? Oh, that's cute. That sounds like a lot of work, though. Shoutouts to you, man. Educators are so important. Yes, let's go on to another public transportation tangent, guys. <laughs> I think a barista would be fun, too. 
Because, like, the hardest part would definitely be memorizing drinks, but I think interacting with people would be fun. Oh, we talked about this before, Ave. Like, it sounds fun, but it's really stressful. I think that's what we talked about last time. Um, Because I think I asked you, like, should I work at Starbucks? And you said no shot. Don't do it. <laughs> but I watched the videos of people making the drinks on TikTok and it looks like so much fun. <laughs> like, maybe. Okay, I also- okay. Story time. I applied to a Starbucks, right? I think two years ago at this point. And I- and I had an in. Like, I was, like, friendly with one of the workers and she's like, hey, I'll put, like, your resume on top of the stack. I'll put in a good word for you, because I worked at the shop down the street. So I submitted my stuff online. I had to upload my resume. I look at it. And I noticed that in my credentials where I put valid food card, I put the expiration date. And I forgot to update my resume saying that, oh yeah, my food card expired three months ago. So I did not update the expiration date. Sad just in chat for me. So, I think literally that's the why I didn't get the reason why I didn't get an interview. I mean, not checking your resume is very important. So, I totally understand that, but I feel like I should have gotten a pass because the workers they had hired after I applied were kind of um not good. Is all I say. <laughs> anyway, story time. <laughs> Guys, kiddos, make sure you double check your resumes. Make sure it's good. No typos, please. If I see you typo, it'll be the end for you. Like, it just shows that you don't care. Anyway. Oh, let's eavesdrop on them talking. Hey! Want to hear some advice on how to be more popular? Huh? Um, no, what? I've been reading magazines I found in a box. They're from decades ago. When folks liked pastel plants. Sag. Struggles with being POC, man. Honestly. I have so many stories. Anyway, that's a topic for another day. <laughs> and I found all kinds of tips on how to be popular. And they are all the worst. People giving tips on how to grow on Twitch. <laughs> All right, hit me. Hey, there was one I read that said batting your eyelashes a lot is way more in style and will make your trays popular. Have you ever heard anything so goofy, Megan? That is pretty silly. Bat your eyelashes to be popular? Am I sending secret messages in Morse code? <laughs> Hello, I am Rad. Uh, love me. Link twice if you need help. <laughs> I've got a message for whoever wrote that article, but it's not polite to say it loud. Good thing I know Morse code. Oh my god. Bubbles is literally a Garen. Literally. Okay. So, today... We have a new villager on our way. We planted some tomatoes. We got our flower garden watered. I think we're good to go for today. Got everything we need to do done. Oh, yeah. Let's go ahead and save here. <clears throat> oh, yeah, just chilling, reading a book, sipping on coffee or tea. Sounds like the best day to. <clears throat> okay, so we can go ahead. And <clears throat> switch gears to you laugh, you lose. Oh, that's okay, Ave. I still enjoyed hanging out with you, no problem. Always gotta make time for the BF, right? Right? <laughs> okay. So. You guys- Oh, that's the wrong audio source. Rip. 
Okay. There we go. <laughs> Matching up with boyfriend. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you guys know the rules. If I laugh, I end stream. Actually, I gotta change my title. One second. I'm a pro streamer, guys. <laughs> you're fine, Avi. It's, you're fine, dude. Don't worry about it. Okay. So, guys know the rules. If I laugh, I end stream. If you guys laugh in chat, type what in chat and tell me which video made you laugh. <clears throat> go ahead. Get started. Also, go subscribe to my YouTube. It's on screen. You see it? Go subscribe. I am so close. I'm literally two people away from 100 subs, which is pretty pago. Anyway, okay, let's start the video. Little Dora the Explorer. <laughs> Did you hear the who? <laughs> Thank you, Abby. New Super Mario Brothers. Wee what is that? A weird shot. Oh, homie, roll up your sleeves. Y'all don't know how much this is literally triggering me right now. Oh, homie, stop. Oh, we got Issa already? Nice. Finally got you, man. I'm not laughing, I'm smiling. Mm. Fuck! I thought the guy was gonna throw the cup oh. of butter onto the floor to smash. Ah. God, it's gonna jump out, it's gonna jump out. Okay, saved, saved. This fucking bullshit. How did the guy what the fuck? How did the dog Dude, like swim. launch so far? <laughs> Bro, how'd they do that like actually? Fine. If I can't have my shoes, Karen can't have her mom. I love that clip so much. Is that Shalad? Jeez! It's Toby! Get him! 
I'm good. Yes, I am cracking, but I am good. I know. You know the bits that go on too long? Number 11, your father will die. Okay, I didn't last. I, I gasped. Because that's actually so fucking scary. I had that happen one time. Like, the panda split. Oh man. Almost saved. Hamburger. Ham 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 burger. Hamburger. Ham hamburger. Burger. Resort. Dude, you missed every single one. Hey, Link. <laughs> oh, being loud is funny. I get it. Ha ha. I don't get what was funny. Oh man, it didn't get me today. We, we got pretty close, but I didn't love. I actually win today, guys. Imagine. <clears throat> yeah, it's not as cute as if it were like a baby kid. Yeah, I was I was like really close that time. Like, what was the bit? The stupid cheese slice one? If it went on for, like, literally five more seconds, I would have cracked. Like, I was so close. And that one where the guy, like, threw the kid onto the table. Like, I was just picturing, like, like just the reactions to everyone else in the restaurant. To, like, what the fuck is going on? Um. But, yeah. That is gonna be all for today. Let me take these off, because this is giving me a headache. Um, yeah, so thank you to anybody who came in the stream today, <clears throat> any viewers, any lurkers, I appreciate you all, um, I will be back again tomorrow, same time, 11 a.m. PST, if you guys want to check out my offline stuff, you can go check out my YouTube channel, you can also go follow my clips accounts, or please go follow my TikTok, now that we've hit 1k followers, we need to hit 10k. That is our next milestone, guys. <laughs> it's the only reason why is because there's different, like, tiers and, like, levels based on your follower count on, like, what you can get in terms of, like, creator resources. So our next goal, guys, 10k. Let's go. Okay. I, I enjoyed hanging out with y'all. Let's see if anybody I know is live right now. I think Cutely might be live. Oh my god, Ms. Kip is live. We should host Ms. Kip. <laughs> my hair actually held up pretty nicely today. The shape is kind of nice. Anyway. <laughs> oh, 
Peterly is still alive. Okay, y'all know what that means. We are going to be heading over to Peterly's channel. So as you guys know, some of y'all have been in raids before. So be nice to Peterly. She is my IRL friend. Also, when we head over there, if you are a non-sub, you can type in chat peace raid when we head over there. And if you are a sub, you can type in chat. I prefer Meg Spin. I think it's really funny. Do Peace Raid. And then Meg Spin again. You guys know the rules. <clears throat> yeah, so I'll be hanging out in Kiderly's chat for a little bit because I'm going to head out and eat lunch. So I'll be in her chat for a little while. As always, I enjoyed spending time with everyone here. And I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay. Bye, guys. Thank <laughs> you.